I'm out here doing some things to his rig here. Right. And uh, he agreed to give me an interview here. Okay. Now, Ariel, what kind of information can you get a guy thinking about driving? The information I would give him is you become a driver. Like everybody else will probably tell you, you don't have to spend time out here. But the reason why I've been with the same company for so long, 21 going up 22 years, is because I like trucks. It's just I was a small boy, and uh, once I got out here, I'm out here, you know, like I say, just because. So I love doing it's not just for the money, but I always like trucks and you can love trucks. You love being out here on the road. That's one reason why I've been doing it so long. What are some of the things that a person will need to consider before they decide to come out here on the road though? Well you gotta make your mind up this is what you wanna do. Some people come out here and all they think about is the money they can make. But it's more than it's more than just money to this job. It's it's, it's all it's an all around thing. Like Computer, something like doing, you love it. Trucking is the same way. You gotta be able to love everything you do out here. Sometimes it get hard. To me, most times it's easy. Uh -huh. But um, other than that, it's not no sweat off. It's not no sweat off my head, really. You know, <laughs> as far as me being out here, road up right now, I'm on my way to um, Seattle, Washington, oh, yeah. for Tuesday morning. So um, I, I take a little time. I ain't no big hurry to get that. Can be there by Tuesday morning. So what kind of? Uh Tips can you give them? Tips can you give them? Tips can you <coughs> give them? Uh, or what they need to keep in mind if they decide to drive in order to make their career successful? Well, what, first thing is, don't do a whole lot of speeding out here where you shouldn't be speeding because right. you end up with tickets. Make sure your love book is always up because some of them fines, like out in the west coast of California, they can hurt you. Take food out of your mouth. Let's just keep yourself together overall, knowing what you're supposed to do. You find out things go real smooth out here. Right, right. And plus, like I was telling them, the better your record is, then the more marketable you are. Right. And if you don't like it where you are, then you can go to another good company. Right. The main, and like I said, you know, like what you're saying, the main thing is keep them, keep them tickets off your record because you get a lot of tickets. A lot of companies won't hire you until you get them tickets off your record. You can, go, you can go to a company with one ticket, maybe two. Yeah. But you go in, but you apply with three, it's gonna be real hard for you unless you really, right. really know somebody. And, and if you get high, more than likely the company that hires you, <laughs> you're not gonna like the job, the exactly. reason that they hire you exactly. anyway. Exactly, that's right. Especially yeah. you got three tickets. Yeah, yeah. They, that means they hire anybody because that's they right. can't keep it. <laughs> can't keep a job, but they need somebody to move that truck. Yeah. But, that truck uh, ain't moving, they ain't make no money. Right, right, right. You've been there 20 years, I guess you would recommend that company, wouldn't you? I would, I would, What's yeah. Who you leased on to? It's a family-owned business, and like I say, they know everybody by name, and um, like I say, your name, not a number. Right. And who so, you leased on to? Hey. I'm, a I'm a company driver. Oh, you're a company driver? Yeah. Oh, so you would say A.N. Weber? A.N. Weber. They went on 21 years. 21 and, um, years? 21, and like I say, you know, but if I need time off, I can get time off. I don't have no problems. Right, right. Because I get time and stuff off. And if I need to be home, you know, you tell them you need to be home, give them plenty of time so they can get you home. Not a last minute thing. You say, oh, I got, I'm supposed to be home. I'm supposed to be home. Right, you right. Give them some time so that way they can get you home. Yeah, that's one of the things I touch on, too. Yeah, that's... You know, yeah, because, uh, you know... Uh, tell me how you, get, how you got started driving, Larry. Oh, I started, I started back in 77. Now, I started having a dump truck for six months, then joined the Army when I was 17, turned 18 in basic training. And I went to um, the truck driving school in the Army. I drove trucks in the Army for six years. And um, that's how I really learned how to really drive 18 wheelers. And if I got the service, I went right back into it, driving um, local in El Paso, around town in El Paso, driving local, the cab over. Got a lot of banking experience um, in El Paso. Like I said, running local for a year. Then after that, I worked for the um, APs for about a year and a half, driving 200 miles out of night, 200 miles back in, and working for a year and a half. And after that, then I decided to make a move. Came over here to this company. I've been here ever since 1986. October 86, been up ever since. What does you like most about driving? I like the whole nine yards. <laughs> I mean, you gotta, like I said, you gotta like it. Yeah. And yeah. you gotta like trucks. If you don't like trucks, 
You ain't gonna like driving. Right. You right. gotta like trucks. It's more to it. You just out here making money. A lot right. of people think about just think about the money. Right. But you got you gotta like trucks. Yeah, it's a whole it's a like lifestyle. Trucks, it's a yeah, lifestyle. Really. It is a lifestyle. And it's a living. But if you don't like trucks, you're not gonna make it out here. Yeah. Some people, like I say, some people say, I'm gonna go grab a truck so I can make some money. Right. Yeah, you can go out and grab a if, truck. If that's the only reason, uh, you, you might wrong. end up pretty unhappy. You will, yeah. That's how I say, but the thing about me is, I like trucks, so right. that's why you don't bother me, you know. Right. I, I, I come out, most of the time I'm out here about 300, and, well, I'll say about 320 days a year. You got a wife and kids going on? No. Nah. If I got a wife, no, no kids. Oh, okay. How do you, how you, how do y'all deal with you being out on the road? Uh, well, she worked for that. She worked for the airline. Oh. And so she, um, before she went back work for the airline, I mean, when I was like on the road, she was at home. Right. So she told me she never for the airline. Um, I thought about it and I said, well, you know what? I say I'm, I'm, I'm away from home. Maybe uh, maybe about 21 days of the month. Maybe sometime 25. Right. And I say. Well, I'm out here on the road, she at home. So I said, but if she don't go work for the airline. Both of you all the way from home anyway. You're away from home anyway, like I said. Yeah. And when I go down through Atlanta, I stop in and see her. And then she talk, when she off, she comes back home, you know, to Texas. Yeah, so it kind of works out for y'all. It worked out pretty good. I was, yeah. there, I was there for the 4th of July weekend for four days. So, you know, that, that was time requested. Right. Actually, I requested three days. So it gave me four, which is even better. So. Yeah. So it works out. It works out. 